Gezi, commiserations wasn't to be on, on home soil. How would you sum the night up as a whole? Disappointed? No, I'm happy. I, I wanted to just get the first win. You know, I'd get, get one, one, uh, one game against Nathan under my belt. I'd done that. Beat Rob. I played pretty well. Rub, uh, rubbish in the final, but you know, Michael played well. He put me under pressure. Every throw on his, you know, the first three darts, he was hitting 180 or 140, and I just couldn't find it. But you know, that's the way darts go sometimes. And yeah, I'm happy. I've got a couple of points on the board and on the next week. The support you got out there was, was incredible. How much did you take from that today? Yeah, I, they were they're brilliant for me. Every time I come to Cardiff, and I appreciate it. Just pity I couldn't reward them with a win, but. You know, on the next week now in Germany, and, and they always support me in Germany, so I'm looking forward to that one. Obviously, the news come out today. You're not playing in the Masters. What's the thought process behind that? Yeah, um, on the next week, I'm I'm ready for the Premier League. I'm I'm going to Germany next week, and then roll into the Pro Tours. So yeah, just um, get this one behind me. Back into Germany next week. Jesse, can you put your finger on why it fell a little bit flat in the final there tonight? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. That's the way darts goes. You know, sometimes you can hit everything, and then other times they just don't go. And you know, for Michael, they were going. He played really well in his semi-final as well. Yeah, I just don't know. Just uh, roll on to next week, and you know, I picked up a couple of points. I'm second in the league after week one, so roll on uh, the next couple of weeks. And a new walk on from you tonight. You're going to be sticking with that going forward. What was yeah, the meaning behind that? Possibly, like uh, it was. Um, it was pretty decent. Probably a bit flatter than what I thought, but. You know, if I find something a little bit better, then I'll, I'll move that as well. Obviously, it's a strong start for you. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Is that the way you go into this? And do, you know, got points on the board, made the final. This is yeah, I was I was happy with one game. You know, I come to Cardiff. I didn't want to go out first round. I was happy to win against Nathan and probably relax a little bit too much. And even in the final, there, you know, Michael played brilliant, but I'm probably a little bit too relaxed. I was happy with points on the board and. Yeah, that, that's what this tournament's all about. Get to the get to the playoffs, you know, in 17 weeks' time, and then pick up the trophy, hopefully. But yeah, you know, it was 10 grand to it as well. I'm a little bit gutted about that, but you know, maybe next week. Gary, we spoke yesterday, and you said that the difference last year was that he was enjoying the Premier League. Where's the mindset this year? Do you think it'll be a little bit the same, and then that'll lead to success? Three points tonight. No, no, I'm, I'm enjoying. You know, like, this is what I'm taking. You know. Every every week as it comes, and I'm you know, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying my darts, which I haven't done you know, every, every week over the last couple of years. But you know, what better start than to come to Cardiff? I had two wins out of three. I wanted to get the, the third one and, and you know and get top of the league. But you know, it's, it's 16, uh, 15 more weeks to go, and hopefully the playoffs as well. And where is your game at the moment? How close to your A game do you think that you are? I'm a mile off. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not scoring. I'm not hitting doubles. But I'm scraping games, so you know, when I start playing well, that they can look out. That's to show how dangerous you are, and that you're a mile off your A game. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm rubbish. I mean, I'm, I'm getting to this final. I'm getting to semi-finals, and you know, this is what this is the game that I've played you know, for the last couple of weeks. So I'm absolute rubbish, but you know, I'll hang on, and the purple patch will, I'll come, and I'll, I'm, once the pro tours come and the Europeans, that's someone I'll be at my best. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. No worries. Gezi Luke had to put up by Whistler. Michael Smith had it in the semis as well. Had it well, Luke Humphries, you mean? Yeah, he was put off when he was throwing against yeah. him. But everyone's going to get out every week now, and that's, that's part and parcel of the game, and I've had it for the last five years, so welcome to the club. Is there anything security can do? Is there anything the management can do just to try and yeah. take it out? I mean, it's sort of... Chuck everyone out. <laughs> Go back to COVID. That's the only way you're going to solve it. You're not going to do anything. You know, Everyone's going to do what they're going to do. They're all up there on the, on the alcohol, so it doesn't matter. You can't stop it. Players have to put up with it, perhaps just accept it. it's part of the game now, really. 100%. Yeah. Um, going, how was the play here in Wales? Kind of a home crowd. Did it yeah. feel like that? Yeah, 100. Um, percent Especially you know the first two games, and it was a little bit flat in that game. I couldn't get going, couldn't really get the crowd on my side. But Michael was brilliant, and he deserved to win today, even in the semi-final against Luke. I think Luke averaged 105 and lost again, and I think the same last week against Michael in the final. So yeah, he was a deserved winner today and fair play to him, but roll on to next week. They said in commentary that you previously said you want more darts events held here in Wales. Is, were those true comments and why is that? What do you think, man? I'm Welsh. <laughs> I don't know, sure. <laughs> That's like the worst question I've ever had in my life. But is it, but for, the, is it for the youngsters coming through? You've seen a lot of young Nah, the bugger them. them. It's all about me. I'm like Welsh. I'd rather, you know, I've, I've had... Bad times for the last couple of years. I'd rather every tournament be in Wales and everyone be on my, behind me. But you know, the last 18 months they've been brilliant with me, and especially in Germany. And we go there next week, so hopefully, 
is similar to what Cardiff was tonight and the Germans are behind me. And yeah, I'm looking forward to Scotland the week after when I play Luke Little, so that's going to be a tough one. And will you be watching any of the rugby? Yeah, oh, definitely. I'm Wales, Scotland. I'll probably uh, go to my local and uh, there's a couple of Scottish boys there. I'll probably go there and uh, watch a bit of rugby. Thank you. No worries. You were playing with an absolute smile on your face the entire time. I think the first time you walked on, you are absolutely beaming. How do you recreate that feeling that will put you as relaxed next week? Well, it's in Germany. I think they, they've supported me brilliant the last um, you know, 18 months, two years. So... Yeah, I think it's probably going to be a little bit of home from home. I think the Germans will get behind me and, yeah, it'll be like Cardiff all over again, but that's why I'm open anyway. And in terms of the evening, where does that rank versus last year? Have you noticed an uptick? Yeah, it was just a little bit below because I won last year and I, and I I fell short this year. But, you know, I've got a couple of points on the board first week. I'm, I'm out the blocks and, yeah, it's like like you say, it's, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. That's good. No worries.